spots. They're not just the bane of those in puberty. Whilst teenagers do tend to get breakouts on their face, their neck, their back and their chest, research shows that 70% of us do suffer from spots. And women in their 20s and 30s are particularly susceptible. Yet many people end up suffering in silence because they're too embarrassed or too nervous to do anything about it. Well, Dr. Catherine Hood is an expert in skin problems. Catherine, spots affect so many people. Why is this? You're absolutely right. Spots are the most common inflammatory skin condition. Uh, and as you say, they're very, very uh, common and lots of people can get them. Now you get a spot when you get a buildup of grease and dead skin cells that block the pores in the skin. So the pores enlarge and then get inflamed and then get infected, giving you those bright red sore pimples. Um, People are more likely to get spots around the times when their hormones are fluctuating because hormones have quite a lot of influence on the amount of grease on somebody's skin and also how sticky the cells are. Um, and so it's, uh, it's quite common for people to get them during puberty, but also later on in life if there are times when their hormones are fluctuating. Dr Catherine, thank you very much. Now earlier on I caught up with Sophie. She suffered from spots for many years. I asked her how it affects her on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I've been getting spots since I was about 14, um, loads through puberty, and then even more so now I'm 22, I'm still getting them. It's just awful, you know. I just, I thought I'd be over them by now, but I'm not, um, and I hate it. It just makes me feel dirty and unclean, and um, it's just quite depressing, you know, I just, I'm always waking up in the morning and thinking, oh look, another spot, great. And um, I've tried loads of things to get rid of them. Everything from exfoliators to facial washes, to cleansers, toners, different kinds of moisturizers, soaps. There's just so many different things on the market. You obviously just want to try everything until something works, but generally speaking, nothing ever seems to work. Okay, Catherine, we heard there from Sophie. How can breakouts vary and how can people deal with them? Well, some people just get the occasional spot or pimple, but there are some people who suffer more consistently with spots. And the most important thing is to not suffer in silence, but to go and get some help because there are a lot of treatments that are available. Now, it can be quite confusing because when you look at all these treatments, they make an awful lot of claims and it can be difficult to work out which ones to go for. But one treatment in particular has just won the seal of approval from the BBC's Professor Leslie Vegan show. Now, this show is particularly hard-hitting about the health and beauty industry. And what they did was they compared uh, spot treatments that have got a licence compared to spot treatments that are more uh, cosmetic uh, and, and are unlicensed. And they looked at the claims that they were making and they compared the, the claims and to see which ones were more substantiated. And not surprisingly, they found that products that have a licence uh, can really back up the claims that they make. Um, and one product in particular, Freedom Gel, was noted to be uh, particularly good because it's also clinically proven uh, for the treatment of mild to moderate spots. Now, to see if a product has got a product licence, you have to have a look and you'll see the licence printed on the back. So that's the thing to look for. Um, and if you go for something like Freedom Gel, this contains uh, an anti-inflammatory product which makes it particularly good for the red sore, uh, soreness of acne. Uh, and this anti-inflammatory is called nicotinamide and it's the only product that contains this. So then what are your top tips for dealing with spots? I think the first thing is to make sure you wash your face regularly, but don't overwash because if you wash too much you can actually inflame the skin further. Secondly, for the ladies, make sure you remove your makeup. I know it's tempting not to, but uh, wearing makeup just encourages the skin to get clogged up. Thirdly, um, try not to fiddle with spots. I know it's very tempting to squeeze them, but that can actually uh, further inflame the skin and the spots take longer to clear up. Uh, then I think the next thing to do is get some treatment. Don't ignore it. Um, as I say, there are lots of products available, but look for one that is licensed and also clinically proven, something like Freedom Gel. And then finally, if you want more advice or help, don't be afraid to go and see your GP or your pharmacist. Dr Catherine Hood, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. So if your mirror is more of an enemy than a friend and you are struggling with spots, there are options. Just find one that's right for you.